All aboard. You're watching Money Train TV. I got my flow. I got my flow. I got my show. I got my show. I got my show. I got my Yo, 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 it's your boy Denzel Porter, and you're tuning into Money Train TV. Make sure you don't change it, though. Make sure you don't change it. Let's go. So we do it like this. Click, kaboom, black suits fill the room with green and the still, the real Dr. Doom. The green gets so high that I steal the moon, and I don't give a fork, so I silver spoon. One dozen punks bet I kill the noon so hot that in December bet I fill the June. Jamaican chick, she wanted bet I kill the poon. Red bone with red eyes, red bottom, no baboon. Am I the best? I'm not the best to ask. If you the best, you the best next to trash. They going back, then they must left they bags. They say they on the run, LeBron must left they Calves. I'm from the bottom, the bottom, I mean the bottom where If there's a problem, we calling them goons and goblins here A bunch of people with sorrow is not to borrow And if we win the lotto, we'll probably be broke tomorrow here Yeah, I hold it down, but I'm what's up though A lot of yo friends, blades and knives, bro Cutthroat, don't need a Glock to see shots Need the guts though, don't need a mountain to see rock Need a cup though, I show you what it costs like to live the boss life You hit the streets, you better know what the talk's like don't even speak, just let the dough do the talk right Don't touch the heat unless your fingers get in frostbite Roll with some beats and try to live that Noah's Ark's life But keep a meeting, if you mess up then you sharks bite You getting beef, you better make sure that your sauce right They'll come out swinging like you cheated on your golf wife I bring them green and they put it in their respiratory I bring them peace, I bring them war, I bring them glory I'm raising hell for all the angels who got wings before me Besides, that's how I like my women Hot and horny, that's devil woman off that homemade music, man Yo, you know what it is? Money Chain TV, the King Celebrity here with Denzel Porter shooting a little pool. We're gonna have a good time. Stay tuned. We're gonna talk about the little things. You know what it is, man. Denzel Porter, what's up, man? I'm chilling, bro. Chilling? Everything good? Everything's good. I'm That's what's up. To, I'm waiting for you to break that, you know. Yo, look, I'm gonna get ahead and do this, man. Oh, I might be resting oh, on the pool. Oh, I might be resting on the pool oh, thing. We gotta break that back. That's bad, bro. No, 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 no. You're not gonna do that. No, we're not gonna do that. You wanna keep it? Yeah. All right. Talk to me about your name, man. Um, Young Flame. Young right? Flame. Who's yeah. that? It's, it's you. <laughs> I mean, uh, nah. Right now, I go by the name of um Desert Porter, and that's okay. my that's my original name because okay. I felt like you know. You know, growing up is when you want to go with your, your, your alias and your nicknames and stuff like that. And I'm not saying that people shouldn't because, you know, it's a part of hip-hop, it's a part of the culture. Right. But I felt like, you know, I, I reached that age where I found out that my, my name is pretty good for my damn uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So I can just use it myself. Do you think? Yeah, exactly. But I can get you food up on the app. He said, that's cool, but dude, I asked you for some cash. Don't know if you a piece of shit or just a fucking ass. I said, hey, you walk up to a thousand people in a day. And 10% of that give you a dollar and some change. That's a hundred dollars a day for seven days a week. That's seven hundred dollars, bitch. You making more than me, motherfucker. And why you gotta be such an asshole? <laughs> why you gotta be such an asshole? Now talk to me about Kanye West, man. Big record, you know what I'm saying? Did you think that you was gonna have the, the approach that you had on Kanye West or was it just something phenomenal you just put together? Man, I just put it together. You know what I'm saying? I got the instrumental from uh, this dude, Mark Excellence, out, out uh -huh. in Detroit, right? And um, he, uh, it was a different kind of sound. It was live, so I just like you know wanted to do something really simple. So I just put something together, one track it real quick, and, and um, it was inspired by like you know after traveling from place to place, I realized a lot of people feel that New Yorkers are you know <laughs> the, the, you know the Spider name, but yeah. yeah. So so you know I decided to to run with that concept on that instrumental, and then the record came out crazy. Once it was released, it was like bigger than I thought. You know, it goes now. Did people treat like treat you like your ignorant aspect, like being that Kanye West was like, oh, I'm an asshole. You know what I'm saying? Did people treat you different? No, no, no. You know why? Because the record is the record. Cause for some odd reason, which is good, is the record kind of came across to the right people, uh -huh. the assholes. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So it's a record made for them. So they understand that you know the the record is not saying that. It's bad to be an asshole. Uh -huh. It's good to be an asshole. There's nothing ignorant about it. Uh -huh. You know, you're just being yourself. People call you what you want, what they want to call you. I hope you you shouldn't yourself. change. You know what I mean? All right, that's what's up. Now, who started you on this music thing? Like, where did it all start from? 
and you cheat in two years. Two, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you cheat. But talk to me. I mean, I'd say that, you know, I started, I started making music around, uh, yeah, that's the eight ball, man. That's the eight ball, man. <laughs> well, I started making music, like, around, you know, third grade and stuff like that in the PS16 park. And um, we used to crowd around up in the, in the jungle gym and stuff like that. And, you know, eventually the, the few artists who were doing it at the time, but we were really young, probably, like, you know. But they, you know, started doing their own thing, but I just couldn't stop. You know what I mean? Just progressing. Just stop. Yeah. Okay. So where it all started, say it started at PS16, um, and I used to just go home and just listen to music, watch videos, watch everything, you know what I mean? And sit there and hate and make my own, like how this is how I would do it, so I figured I should do it too, you know what I mean? Okay. Keep it in Bronx. Yeah, keep it in Real Bronx. Bronx. Homemade music. Where'd you get the name from? Where'd the project stem from? Talk to me. <laughs> Homemade music. That's the first time somebody asked me the name. Well, we were trying to figure out the name for, you know, I put the eight ball there oh, yeah, so yeah. that you could see that you oh, lost. Okay. Okay. Just so you could see you lost. Yeah, but yeah. nah, I put the, um, the, the title, like, I just felt like I wanted to make some home cooking. And, and, and the, 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 the thing about the homemade music, which is unique, is that it was created in my bedroom. Okay. You know, it's my home studio that I built at home and I recorded everything myself, I engineered, I, I mixed everything myself and it was like really homemade sound, nice and, you know, smooth, so that's where the title comes from. Okay. Yeah. Dope. Intuition, man. Big record you was talking to a lot of people who, who are just having sex out there, <laughs> the, the age range, like what made you want to make a record that speaks so fluent to like the young, the young people of today, like, what made you want to just make a record that's just gonna talk and speak like that? See, the thing is, like, I don't kind, I, I, I didn't like direct it at the young people today. I kind of, man, I mean, I did, but it was like, I write music for my generation uh -huh. and everybody else around it. But like, I could only write about what I know and what I see. Uh -huh. And this is a whole crazy time right now with that, you know, HIV and STD thing. And with music, like, I like to do a lot of storytelling when I okay. do music and stuff like that. So I figured I should just write a story about it, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? And switch it up at the end, like, you know, do something crazy, maybe people draw them Keep out a little crazy. bit. Maybe, maybe, you know, drag it out a little bit on purpose uh -huh. and switch it up at the end. And a little different. Something. Okay. You know what I mean? Just a little different. Was, exactly. A little different. Exactly. Do you feel like the pressure is on you? Because a lot of people talk about Denzel Porter being one of the few artists that brings back real hip hop. Do you feel like it's, it's, a, it's a big burden on your back being that you got hip hop standing full, full fledged on your feet? Like, you know what I'm saying? The, the golden age era. They're comparing you to that, the beginning of the era. How does it feel? Damn. You can't be putting that type of heat on my show, huh? bro. I got a huh? show later. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just, but I'm just, I'm just. I mean, it, 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 it is kind of, it is kind of a, you know, you know, you gotta maintain it. But I, lately, I've just been being myself. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And the people are accepting that. I'm, I, I've just been telling people like, yo, I'm artist from the golden era because they gave me that title. Okay. Yeah, you, you guys got that from me. When you listen to my stuff, you feel that. That yo, this dude makes me feel like when I first heard Tribe Called Quest, or, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's you who said that. So all I gotta do is keep being myself. I feel like so it might just be that easy. Okay. You know, might just be that easy. Ooh. But the I heard that's not easy. easy though. I heard Ooh. that's not easy. Bring it on, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tribe Called Quest era. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> This beat, this beat feel like, yeah, remember, uh, I'm on a war tour with Muhammad, my man, go and eat you, you remember that? Yeah, anyway, look, you ever feel like just rapping sometimes? Where the, where the video, like, the video was so, like, 90s, and yeah. early 90s, like, where'd the feel come from? Like, how did you put that together, bring it on? See, one thing, though, I would say, I was inspired by it. A lot of people from that. Uh -huh. So, like a lot of the videos that I, you know, try to do, or, or you know, it's like me trying to recreate stuff from that time. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we bring it on. We went out to um to Flushing Park out in Queens. Okay. You know, we got that same shot from the award tour video. Okay. You know what I mean? And um, then we did a little bit of us chilling. This is how we chill. You know, like how we doing uh -huh. right now. 
And you know, I just want to bring it on the show like this is us right here. Right. And I, I could do it like this back in the day. I could make you feel like that. It's not just music you could listen to. It's Yo, music you could feel. When I was listening to the record, I'm like, it's so hot, but I feel like he's indirectly talking to somebody. Like, who was you talking to on that record? Like, are you talking to artists? You saying bring it on? Like, whatever you got for me, bring it. Yeah. Like, are you talking about is. people who who didn't give you the time of day, or or who are you talking to at the, with this record? I'm talking. With, I'm talking to everybody. It's like I'm telling them what I'm about, and then I'm ready for whatever. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. It's whatever you put in front of me, I gotta take it out. I'll do it. Alright. Dope. Now you're on Twitter, you know what I'm saying? And you got a dog, you got a mascot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, I'm looking like, yo, why does the dog have a Twitter? <laughs> Who does that? Yo, you see, the dog is a part of the family. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I got a really big family. Um, Wreck us. Okay. It is a family and you know of course my Porter family. I can't okay. forget my bloodline. Do you think? Of but the dog is a part of Red House family, so you know everybody in Red House do their thing, everybody uh -huh. gotta speak how they feel, so why not expose it on Twitter? Mm. Well, my dog can have a Twitter, you know what no. I mean? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's not even me posting from it. Oh and sometimes you know, you'll never know. You know what's funny though? Know? Like people really follow it and respond. Mm -hmm. And and that's what killed me. I'm like, yo, his dog got a Twitter? Man, Bruce done been to the club already, man. That's how it is. Wow. <laughs> Mm. Let's get treatment up time. So can we can we say that we're gonna look for an Instagram? For, <laughs> if, for it ain't, if it ain't there yet, then uh, <laughs> if it ain't up there yet, then I don't know, you know. <laughs> Where do you wanna see Denzel Porter in the next three? The next three years. The next three years I should be maintaining. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Maintaining and gaining. That's yeah, what it's about. It's yeah. not about progression. You know, and I, I, I'm hoping that in the next three years I'll be established by them times, a household name and everywhere. Uh -huh. Cause I'm trying to go for the top. I'm not trying to just be a rapper in the game. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to just be a rapper. I'm trying to show people this is artist work. This is, this what is you artistry. Do. This is what I do. Okay. You know what I mean? So, and I just keep getting better. Not being cocky or nothing, but it's noticeable. Okay. You hear it? Just keep getting better. So whatever I'm doing, I'm, I think I'm doing it right. You know what I mean? Exactly. See, it's see about bro. progression. All right. Maintaining. You got a blog. You got a blog, A Day in the Life with Denzel Porter, right? Yeah, A Day with Denzel, yeah. Okay. Now, what is it like for A Day with Denzel? Like, from 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 the morning, from the sunrise? Straight music. You see, Straight music. I got a studio in my house. So if I'm not recording uh -huh. myself, if I'm not engineering, a couple of guys from the area, if I'm not doing some rec house work, I, it's all music. It's all music. It's all music. Unless uh -huh. I'm walking Bruce, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> But Bruce Walk himself, man, that's how you do it, I told you. <laughs> I hate you. So what is next for Denzel? Like what what can you what can we expect? Being that you dropped this project, you, uh your videos been getting a lot of like blog work. What's next? Well one thing I know about stuff I'm releasing mm -hmm. is that everything there's always room for improvement mm -hmm. and it'll always be better. You know, people may like it, but on my end, it's like, I could do that better. Mm -hmm. I could do this better, you know? So, you know, I've got myself into a way better circle uh -huh. now than I, you know, but from working by myself, yeah. you know, and now I'm in a nicer circle, nicer position. So you, you're gonna, you gotta expect a lot of crazy looking stuff in the future. And I'm gonna just leave it like that. Crazy oh, okay. looking stuff. It's gonna look, we gonna get it first. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope we, we get, get, get it first. I hope we get the visual first. Ah, uh, you trapped me, you trapped me. <laughs> <laughs> you trapped me, you made me you heard it first. You know what it is, man. <laughs> now, as far as Denzel Porter or whatever, like I've seen you go to South by Southwest, uh, one of the biggest personalities as far as MTV brought you out. Uh, how did you feel being brought out? Did you know you was gonna be brought out at that time? Or? Nah, I didn't know. You know, I was just backstage chilling with uh, Sam Crespo at the okay. time, and um, Sway came, you know, I was listening, side there, Sway came over and, you know, gave me the mic and it was like, Dang, you know, this is the type of stuff you hear about, this uh -huh. is the type of stuff you dream about, you uh -huh. know, being called out to show and prove. So, like, when I got on the stage now, I could see, like, yo, dang, this is, this is a nice crowd, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? But if you mess up, because they're real out there. Yeah. And even if you don't mess up, because when I when I once I got on stage, I'm seeing people like this. I'm seeing I'm hearing booze, but like you gotta be able to fight through that uh -huh. as an artist, so it's like training for me. Uh -huh. Got on stage and like eventually won the crowd over. Those uh -huh. those thumbs down was up, cheering and I'm just like, yeah. Now you know, is that yeah. is that an influence based on you know what a freestyle is and being able to go off, go for that, or is that just you being an artist with chemistry and just wanting to rock a crowd? I think it's more of like a, a performance thing. It's a soul thing. Mm -hmm. For me, it's a soul thing. 
Cause like you know, everybody gets those certain stuff before shows and stuff. Like you know, get nervous and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Me, I get nervous. I get everything. Mm -hmm. But it's like once I touch the mic, it's a whole nother person. It's a whole so nother I don't person. even know how to explain it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's like once I'm on the stage, it's a whole nother person. I don't care what it is. Y'all gonna hear what I'm doing, and I'm gonna feel it. And mm -hmm. if I'm feeling it, hopefully you feel it too. You know what I mean? And eventually it works. You know it works. You had a record called Haymaker. Why Haymaker? Dude, you don't hear those punchlines, D? <laughs> those punchlines is crazy. Like, you, see my little, you see my little angry, I'm like, yo. Yeah, man, sometimes you, you just, just gotta grab a bull and let him out the cage real quick. Haymaker, 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 Haymaker. Uh. Mr. Porter to you, bro. <laughs> Look, give a shout out to the haters for me, they dead. Give a shout out to the maker for me, who killed them? Give a shout out to the taker for me, I'm that nigga. Give a shout out to the Kramers for me. We in the matrix that's full of hatred and hates his choices. So I just toot my own horn, making city noises. Me and my boys is in the club smoking and sipping poison. If money talks, I guess that you could say we throwing voices. Sometimes you gotta grab a beat and just beat it up. You know, uh -huh. I called her, um, uh, Connie Diamond actually, she was in the studio at the time. And we were just going through some beats. And she was like, that one right there. I was like, that's one? She's like, yeah. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna like, Go hard. She's uh -huh. like, all right, let's do it. And then you heard her verse, she went hard. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to grab a beat and just beat it up. You know what I mean? Forget the hook. You don't call it a haymaker, uh -huh. that type of thing. Mm. Real quick, sure. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Now, you, you <coughs> ended up on the retox. Mm -hmm. You know that what I'm saying? Joint. Right. How did it feel being on, on that project, knowing that you're a new artist coming up? Did, did it give you a, like a cockiness to you? How did you feel? Like, oh, no, nah, definitely not. I, I, I felt like more like, like, more like it felt like the South by Southwest uh -huh. situation. It was like a time to show and prove. You about to be on this mixtape with a whole bunch of artists who are doing their thing right now. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to do your thing too. So I'm walking out 238th Street and all that in my special edition. Ted Smooth Beats by Dre Headphones and this beat just come on and I'm just like, now, nah. so what do we have here? Another simple motherfucker got a shorty that'll rob you. It's ironic cause she stuck up. No, from now I hold it down. So it's all for me to fuck up. Have your girl back, break a break a fucker like a trucker. In the back of the trucker, got something to bring the ruckus. You fuckers, you liar, you party fire, you bunch of suckers. You know, when I when I got the opportunity, I was like, well, you know, it's a it's a it's a mixtape, so I don't want to take up too much of my time. Uh -huh. I'm new, so I just want to do something real short, real quick, and just get my point across. Uh -huh. And that's how I that's how I did the record, like, just real the quick. The visual painted the picture. I'm gonna tell you right now. The visual yeah. painted the picture. Yeah. Real Bronx. Everybody just repping. Yeah. Yo, yo listen, right I block. wanted the whole video. <laughs> I wanted the whole video. I'm watching the visual like, yo. Yeah, and it stopped it right is. there. Like, just to make you want more. That was my goal. Like, I'm a new artist. I don't want to talk too much. I don't want to do too much. Uh -huh. I just want to make you want more. So that's why I did this real quick. Boom. And just leave it like that. Now, most people don't know you went to college. You mm -hmm. went to Five Towns College yeah. or whatever. Does, is that something that helped change your chemistry as far as you being Denzel Porter? Or was that, did it help at all? Everything, or was it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Or was it just something, you know what, this college thing ain't working out for me? It Ooh, definitely bro. did because it was like being over here, I'm working with a lot of people who try to be musicians and try to do things. And, and that's cool to try. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But when you go to Five Towns, these are, they're trying as well, but these guys are like, dedicated because mm. they're going to school for it so you're surrounded by a whole bunch of people just like you which means right. the competition is a little bit more stronger which means you only could get better you know so for, for the short time I was in five towns I was like you know learning a lot um meeting a lot of people because a lot of people from five towns are successful in the game. very yeah so it's like yo it's like you got a network you got five towns was big like it, I learned that you have to network from five towns I learned and I was only there for a short period of time but it was right. it was worth it don't worry, I went there as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, five times you know what successful. You, you very, very yeah. successful. You know that. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Now, you got a big show tonight. You're headlining. Mm -hmm. What's it going to be like for Denzel Porter to finally headline the show? Oh, what can the fans get from you? It's going to be crazy, man. I'm going to do a couple of new records because I've been like holding up on a lot of new records. Uh -huh. Um. You, I'm gonna bring out some friends, you know, 
Um, my people's going to be in the building, so it's going to be ram packed. Uh -huh. It's gonna be crazy, man. I feel Big like house. I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna just I'm gonna feel like I'm at home. Okay. I'm gonna feel like I'm at home. You know what I mean? Big Red King. Go yeah. You know yeah. Yeah. But but you gonna paint that picture? Yeah, I'm gonna you paint that, that picture. picture. I'm gonna make people feel like like what I'm trying to do with this show is introduce them to me and how I'm about what inspired mm -hmm. me. Like this whole show is gonna be like a long interview. Okay. You see what I'm saying? The songs are documented. Gonna, yeah, exactly. It's like the songs tell a story. This is what he's about. Every set, every set is gonna have a story. You know what I mean, and and hopefully by the end of the night, people will yeah, establish that. Too. Yeah, exactly, establish that character who Denzel is trying to portray. Yeah, you know what I mean. Do you feel like people in New York know who you are? Not yet. Not enough yet. <laughs> How is your love outside of New York? Oh, it's dope. It's dope. It's dope. But New York. New York does show me a lot of love. Let, 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 let's not get that mixed up. But uh -huh. outside of New York, it's dope. I got a show, a couple shows in Canada, and they love the stuff out there. Um, down south, they love the stuff. It's dope. Yo, you know what's funny about it? When I first started to really, really get in tune with your music, I saw you as a down south artist. See, you know what but I'm saying? That, but you know what? I, I I like the fact that even though I you know rep my city for sure, but I like the fact that people don't can't pinpoint mm -hmm. my style. Like mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people could say, oh, this is style from the west coast, or this is style from down south, or this is. Mine's is like, yo, I heard this record, he sound like he from down south. Mm -hmm. Then I heard this record, where he sound like he from the west coast. Then I heard this record, yo, where he from, man? He from yeah. the Bronx. He's like, you know, I could try to reach, I could reach out to everybody. Do what you gotta do. Exactly. Handle your business. Exactly. You don't do real, uh, a lot of features, really. Uh, why? How do I feel about, I mean, dang, I don't know how to explain that. Talk to, talk to me, talk to me, <laughs> talk to me. You know what, I'm over here on the shoot. I don't know how to explain that. Talk to me. I mean, with features, it's like, it's when I work on a record, I like to work, I like, everybody's involved here. And when it comes to features, I'll do a feature with an artist, but if the producer doesn't want that artist on it, and I don't want to point fingers and say, oh, it's the producer's fault, because sometimes I may say, yeah, nah, let me just tear this up myself, you know what I mean? And a lot of times I like to just tear something on myself. Sometimes but you don't, you don't even do work with a lot of producers. I do. I work with a lot of producers. I just got a main producer who's doing his thing. That's my main clothes. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I work side by side. But I definitely like to work with like a lot of upcoming producers okay. and any producers that throw something at me. Anything that we could, anytime we can make some good stuff, uh -huh. we're going to make it happen. You know what I mean? So, on the fun side of things, what is Denzel Porter doing when he's not doing music? Oh, no. no, no what is, a, what is a fun time with, with Denzel Porter? Y'all know how to play ping pong? <laughs> we be playing ping pong, dog. Like, oh, word. And we house, play ping pong in the house. We be playing. We okay. be playing ball. We do everything, man. You nice at ball? I got a little something, man. man. You know, nice. I got a little something. Look nice. at the pool. Listen, Money Chain TV. You heard him say, "You nice and ball." We gonna see. We gonna wrap it up. We gonna see what's up. <laughs> he talking crazy. We got the whole in the backyard. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I would hate to have this all over the blogs, dunking on your man. You gotta finish, forget it. Yo, bring it on, baby. Woo! What is, what is some advice for, for a young student of the game, for, for someone that's coming up that want to be where you're at? What I mean, would you say to them? Dang. I'd tell them to keep working. Keep mm -hmm. releasing these songs until you can build a team. There's a, I, I, I got, I'm, a, I'm fortunate. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I have a, a manager that I grew up with. So mm -hmm. we were like brothers before the business and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So it's like, we, uh, I'm fortunate, so not everybody going to be that fortunate, but people will run into you when you release good music. Okay. So as long as your music is good, you release that music, somebody's going to come and help you out. Fill them out, work with them, because you're going to need that team. Teamwork make the dream work, man. Mm -hmm. I hear you, man. We just had a good time with Money Train TV. Yeah. Denzel Porter, you know what it is. Rec House, what's up? You know what my name is, the king so that we going to... Easily, easily, easily make this happen for this man right here, Money Train TV. Stay tuned.